Hey guys, welcome back to another video. First of all, Merry Christmas and second of all, this video will be about the NBA Christmas games. I will tell you what do I think who will win and I will give you my predictions for the NBA Christmas games. So let's go. Starting with two very easy predictions for me. Um, first of all, the Golden State Warriors against the Houston Rockets. So like I said, this is a very easy one. For me, the Houston Rockets will win by at least 10 points. Why is this? As you see, James Harden is in MVP mode. And the Golden State Warriors are, as you know, hurt. Stephen Curry has a broken hand, is out. Klay Thompson's ACL. KD is now in Brooklyn. And Draymond hasn't been, I don't even know if he plays now, but he has been hurt to start the season. And he hasn't been in like the typical Gray, Draymond form as we know him to be. And for the Rockets, James Horton, as you see, he has 38 points per game. That's freaking crazy. And 7.4 assists per game. And they are on a four game winning streak. Yeah, they beat the Clippers, Phoenix Suns, Sacramento Kings. So not the worst competition in the NBA right now. And yeah, very easy. Houston Rockets will win. Coming to the second game, the Pelicans against the Nuggets. For me, that's also a clear win for the Denver Nuggets. Why? Because the Pelicans defense is terrible this season and their number one pick, Zion Williamson, is still injured. They have a pretty good offense, like Brandon Ingram is playing very surprising with 25 points per game. But, like I said, their defense is terrible and Zion does not play. So I see the Denver Nuggets as a favor because they are very, very well rounded. They have a deep team like they have like seven, eight, nine players who like their rotation is pretty good. Everyone can ball out. Jamal Murray is young and has a lot of potential. Jokic is Jokic is Jokic is so unique. And yeah, Will Barton is scoring good. Uh, who else does they have? Like Mason Plumley is surprisingly good backup center for me at least. And yeah, and Gary Harris, they have a lot of good scorers. And as you see, they are on a five game winning streak against the Suns, against the Lakers, against the Timberwolves, Orlando and New York Knicks, okay. But they have broken the winning streak of the Los Angeles Lakers, which is pretty impressive. Easy dub for the Denver Nuggets. Coming to two heavyweights of the East Conference. The Toronto Raptors against the Boston Celtics. In this game, here you see the leaders, Kemba, Enes Kanter and Kemba and Siakam, Siakam, Lowry. That's a really tough one. The Toronto Raptors are at home, so I think they have a pretty good home court advantage. As you see, they are 13 and 3 at home. And on the other hand, the Boston Celtics are 8 and 6 um, on the road. So you will think that the Raptors are in favor. But for me, I see the Boston Celtics ahead. Why? It's a good question. As you see, they won 4 out of 5. And they had an insane, like the comeback of the century and the comeback in franchise history against the Dallas Mavericks. They were down as much as 30 points, that insane comeback at home. But like three of their main guys are injured, Marcus Sol, Pascal Siakam and Norman Powell. And as you see, Pascal Siakam is their leading scorer and their leading rebounder. And with that and the injury of Marcus Sol, they will have some problems. I think against the Boston Celtics rebound wise. And yeah, you saw that without Gasol and Siakam, they are having some 
issues to score points in that comeback win against the uh, Mavericks. They had some problems. Kyle Lowry saved them, but I think that's not good enough for the Celtics because the Celtics with Jason Tatum, Campbell Walker, uh, Jalen Brown, they have three very good, very good scorers and they have some pretty good defense. Jaden Brown is a good wing defender. And yeah, Daniel Thais is also a very good defender. And just because of the injuries, I think the Boston Celtics will be victorious. If Pascal Siakam and Marcus Sowell would have played, I think the Raptors would have made it. But that's not like this. And so I see the Boston Celtics ahead. Next up, Ooh, that's also an insane game. The Bucks against the 76ers. I don't know who will win. Here we see them records. Four out of five for the Bucks and two out of five for the Sixers. Sixers are insanely good at home, 15 and two, but the Bucks are the best team in the NBA right now. And I think the Bucks will make it. The Sixers, they yes, they won two straight, but against Detroit Pistons and against the Washington Wizards, which don't are the best competition. And they lost, okay, against good teams, the Mavs, Heat and Brooklyn. But what I have seen from them is just not good enough to win against the Milwaukee Bucks because the box with Johnny's 31 points and 13 rebounds. Joel Embiid has to a very good night. He has to have a very good night to win that game for the Sixers. Joel Embiid and Ben Simmons. But Ben Simmons is not in all-star form and in all-star in the all-star selection for me this year. And Joel Embiid has been, yeah, you know him. He's always a little injured, a little sick. And it's Christmas, so it can go either way, which well, but he has to really, really ball out. So the Sixers will have a chance against the uh, Milwaukee Bucks. For me, the Milwaukee Bucks. So let me know down in the comments what you think who will win that matchup. This is like the best game so far for Christmas Day. But coming to the most exciting game who everyone wants to see this Christmas. That's a pretty good Christmas gift from the NBA. The Los Angeles Clippers with Kawhi Leonard, Paul George, Lou, the sixth man, William, the underground MVP against LeBron James, King James, the mono brow, AD, who else does they have? Like the Superman who is Back now, Dwight Tower, the hero of social media, Alex Caruso, the Clippers against the Los Angeles Lakers, the Battle of Los Angeles. Who will I? Who do I think will win? That's so tough. But for me, that's very spontaneous. But for me, I think the Clippers will win. Yes, the Clippers will win for me because I don't know for me they have better defense yes they do have better defense with Kawhi Leonard and Paul George two guys who can guard LeBron their center Montres Harrell can defend AD and Lou Williams is like instant offense off the bench so that's a very big point for me and I think this is just more. This is just more power to win that game. Okay, AD is having an insane season. AD both and LeBron. LeBron is leading the assists per game in the NBA right now, but if LeBron doesn't have a good game, where will they get the offense from? Okay, AD. But I just think the Clippers are having more options in the offense. They also have Landry Shamit. I just think the Clippers are having more options 
in their offense and are having pretty good defenders with Kawhi and PG. So for me, the Clippers will win. So guys, let me know down in the comments what you think about those NBA Christmas games. Who will win and who not? Especially the game Los Angeles Lakers against the LA Clippers. Let me know that and check out why and when LeBron James will be the all-time scoring leader of the NBA. Link down in the description below and now on the end screen. Wish you a Merry Christmas, have a good day, have a good time, have a good holiday season, enjoy those NBA games and see you in the next one. Peace guys.